Good afternoon, guys. This is Sheila D back in the kitchen again. Guys, I'm not going to keep you too long, but we're going to make some breakfast today, okay? So we're going to get right into the video. In this bowl here, I have one egg and one fourth cup of milk. And then over here, I have what they call raw sugar. So we're going to drop this into our bowl with our one egg and one fourth cup of milk. And then over here, I have what you call cinnamon sugar. Okay, so we're going to have... Add a couple dashes of that into our recipe also and stir it up. So over here our pan should be getting good and hot. So we are going to drop a little butter in that pan and just let it get nice and hot guys. Guys, when, I, when my kids was little I would cook breakfast on Saturdays and Sundays when I'm off because I worked it Monday through Fridays and they really enjoy breakfast. So I'm just going to show you how I prepare um, one of my favorite um, recipes um, for Saturday morning since the holidays coming up. And we can't go anywhere anyway, guys. So we got to stay in the house and kind of be safe so we might as well eat good so over here I have my Hawaiian um, bread and this is pan sized bread so it's a little bigger than regular bread so I am going to make sure my milk my egg and my raw sugar and cinnamon sugar is all mixed up together then you are gonna dip your bread into your egg and your milk. Then you are gonna add it into your pan. And so how I like to cook my French toast is, I start out with a high fire and then I turn the owl down, maybe to medium, cause you wanna cook it you want to just cook it kind of on medium heat because you don't want to burn it. You want it just right. And also because you have that sugar and that um, cinnamon in it, it'll burn pretty fast. So that's why you want to cook it on low. So over here in this um, container, I have three eggs. And I have some salt and I got some pepper in my three eggs. And we are going to stir this up real nicely because we are going to make us some fluffy eggs. So once again, guys, I think I shared it in another video, how you make your eggs fluffy if you, you add a little milk to it. And then your, your eggs be fluffy, just like it would be... Um, if you buy your breakfast from a restaurant. So now we are gonna turn our French toast over. There you go, guys. So you can see them French toes. Guys, I'm getting better, I tell you. So I got my French toes and I am cooking them on medium. And also back here, I have me a nice um, little small pot of sausages and I'm, I'm letting them cook on simmer cause I want them brown. And so I'm just letting them cook real low and we are just gonna keep turning them. So what I like to do with my breakfast is I just take my time and I cook it real slow. And um, I don't like to cook my French toast on a high um, heat. I like it to be medium because you don't want your French toast to burn, but you do want it fully cooked in the inside, so that's why I do that. 
So, once again, with our eggs, like I said, you put a little milk in them. Like, this is three eggs. So, what I did is I put like one half cup of milk, regular milk, into this recipe. And also, with this French toast, how I like to eat my French toast is I like to take me a glass of milk and put it into the freezer. When I first start cooking my food, I put my glass of milk into the freezer because I want my milk to be really, really cold. Okay. So, and then you are going to need some syrup for this recipe. Also, sometimes I eat my French toast and I just put some cinnamon sugar on top of the toast and I just eat it that way. Um, it's whatever your um, flavor is, whatever you, you like. So, cook your French toast on medium heat, guys. And you see how nice these are coming out because we got them on medium heat. We just cooking them slow. So I am going to add, I am going to add some Canada bacon into my pot while my French toast is getting good and done. So I'm going to add that on the side. And I'm just going to let that heat up a little bit. And over here, I got my nice cold milk that I got off the freezer. Mmm. Guys, I tell you, you don't leave your milk in there no longer than one or two minutes. But if you put your milk in the top of the freezer before you eat your French toast or some pancakes, oh boy, it'd be so good. Actually, when I was a little girl, my favorite restaurant, uh, it was an older lady used to run it, and she would put your cup of milk or glass of milk into the freezer, so she made the best um, pancakes that you ever want to eat. And I used to go to that restaurant and... I, back in them days, you could get a full meal for about $2. You'll have pancakes, sausages, bacon, two eggs for about $2. And I guess sometimes these days, it depends on what area you live in. You could catch a restaurant with a deal for two ninety nine dollars or 3 bucks. Hmm. But guys, I like my milk really cold. So I like to put it in the freezer. So we all get back over here into the video because I didn't start talking. So our French toast is cooking up pretty good. We got our can of bacon over here that is warming up. Okay. Then we got our sausages over there that is almost done. So we are going to use one pan, guys. We only need one pan to cook our eggs. Our counter to bacon, warm that up. Because kind of bacon is, your can, I mean, the bacon is pretty much done. You just really warming it up. And I like to brown it on both sides. But this particular ham got a wonderful, wonderful um, taste to it. So I got... My French toast cooking up pretty good. Okay, so we're going to take our French toast out. Set it over there to the side. Because it is done. And we are going to add our kind of bacon. Over here with our French toast. And this one I wanted to get a little bit more done. 
So I'm gonna leave this one in. So over here to the side of the pan, we're gonna add up some butter. And like I said, guys, when you're cooking a breakfast like this, you could use one pan, okay? You could use one pan and that'll do the whole trick. And you don't have to wash all them dishes and all that stuff. Okay, so now we are gonna add our little fluffy eggs into this pan. Once again, in this bowl right here, I got three eggs, one fourth cup of milk, and I'm gonna add my eggs into this butter. And we are gonna turn our heat up. Guys, I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day today. I don't know what time it is in your neck of the woods, but in my neck of woods, it's about 10.30. I work day shift sometimes. I work afternoon sometimes. I work midnight sometimes. I do all shift. So yesterday, I worked this day shift, so I was off. So I got a chance to get up this morning and cook me a breakfast. So when I am off, I never miss the opportunity of getting up and making me a nice breakfast. I can't go anywhere. I want some New Year rings. I can't go to the mall. I want to go shopping for my grandkids. I am afraid to go out there to shop. So I'm pretty much in the house, guys, after work. So now we got a nice fluffy eggs and we're gonna put them over there. And guys, I really put a lot of pepper in these eggs. Really I did. So what we are gonna do is, we are gonna take our nice French toast and we are going to add us a little sugar on top. That cinnamon sugar. And once you add your cinnamon sugar on top, then you add your syrup. Whatever syrup you prefer. Or you don't have to put syrup on it. You can put some honey on top of yours. Or you could just eat it with your cinnamon sugar and just eat it plain. So this is the outcome of our French toast and our fluffy eggs. And we got some sausages and we got some little, um, I want to say Canada bacon. But anyway, you can find it in any store, this little bacon here. It's like the full breakfast. And it is wonderful. And I, I really enjoy it when I cook a breakfast like this. So I am gonna see you on the next video. And oh, by the way, guys, before I close out this video, um, last week I had a, a, a little um, thing on Sunday where I offer my fans to communicate with me about some pictures and they did. So I thought that I was gonna get a couple people um, email me, but I got quite a few of them. So I think next Sunday we're going to pass on that um, win, win video for the prize because I said I was going to do it every Sunday. But I got quite a few fans and I want to share with all of them. So I got like eight responses. So uh, we're going to wait and do another video like that. I enjoyed that. And for the people that did win last week, that you did email me back, if I gave you a compliment and you, you know, or I gave you a compliment or I, um, maybe I said something in reaction to whatever your comment was and I told you to email me, then you won something. 
So by the end of this week, um, I'll be sending out um, the people that won the prior week. And then um, we'll be coming along with something similar to that because I enjoyed that. Um, I do like to share. And thank you. And guys, your gift is on the way, okay? Your prizes, rather. You have a wonderful day, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.